Meet Frank, the handsome guy your staff looking at for a while, so you might as well believe he's handsome. Frank here is a normal dude, not unlike you and I. He has a desk job that pays okay, a lovely family of four, plus a beagle, a questionable taste for pineapples on pizzas, and he loves his motorbike. Oh hell, he loves riding it. In fact, one would say maybe a tad bit too much, that he's beginning to take a toll on his otherworldly commitments. One day, he had himself a real good time on his baby, and in his exhilaration, he found himself arriving in the center of a forest that he did not recognize. Which apparently contained certain hills that he found particularly difficult to get over. He tried, desperately to recall his path, to escape the woods and go back to his family that he so wantonly left behind. But he could not. Because you see, it was a magical forest that he got lost into. And one does not simply unlose himself in magical forests. Or normal forests for that matter. Forests in general are dicks to losers. I mean people who get lost. The trees here are treacherous, the stones vile, and the water insidious. They constantly shift and reposit to keep Frank exactly where they want him, for the forest obeys no physical rules but its own. God, I wish I can get Kate Blanchard to narrate this. Stripped of all sensible alternatives, Frank got down on his knees and prayed to... Um, Mithrenda, the resident goddess of nature of his local mythology. Mithrenda appeared before Frank and berated him for his negligence. Which might explain why I'm having so much difficulty driving up this goddamn slope. But we mustn't lose our temper in the presence of a goddess. Sensing true remorse in the penitent man, the goddess granted him one last chance of redemption. She will place 68 landmarks on his path, which Frank will have to follow. <clears throat> to secure his freedom from the forest to the ruins, from the pier to the land of Flora. I know it sounds super cliche, but trust me, it's awesome. And yes, I realize I'm dying a lot here, but believe it or not, this is actually the abridged version that you're looking at. If I were to release the full version, I'd be suspected for some sort of indulgence. Anyway, where were we? The story must go on. Also, sometimes when you find yourself constantly failing at the same task over and over again, it may not be your fault. In fact, it may be your gear's fault. You just gotta cuff up some of the experience points that you spend so much time gaining and spend some on your gear. That's right, upgrade, baby. RPG element.
but we really must get on with the story. Uh, let me see, where were we? Frank praying goddess. Ah, yes. But that freedom is not to be given, but earned. For the forest will seek to further mess up his day. Gravity will change its direction to disorient him. Boulders will come after him as if he just stole a golden idol. And the floor will literally be lava. But none of those will stop Frank on his quest because, hey, more reason to ride his sweet little bike on this side-scrolling, trials-ish indie puzzle adventure. Hello viewers, my name is the one who eats lemons and welcome to my playthrough of Saibe or Saibe or Psbay, fuck if I know how to pronounce this shit. Also, apparently, as long as you reach the objective, the exact manner of you reaching that objective, including your basic status of being either alive or dead, is of no importance. I guess our goddess is rather loose on this one. Oh, and about that goddess and Frank and his family and bike. Yeah, all that nonsense is made up. Not made up by Mr. Eugene Bukatov, the sole author of this game. I mean by yours truly. This game doesn't really have a plot per se, but what is a plotless game but an invitation to make up your own narrative? So if headcanon is your thing, then there you go, the story behind Saibei. Honestly, Mr. Bukatov, you should be paying me. But of course, I'm not trying to take away due credit from an artist who single-handedly created this game. He's the man. By the way, I accept a bag of cash, wiring, paypal, patreon, payment in kind, or just spiritual encouragement. Regardless, for the rest of my playthrough, this unnamed writer here is Frank, and he's passing a test in a cursed land left behind by some unlicensed goddess with possible ulterior motives, in an effort to get back to his wife, children, and the dog, whose name is True Barca. Hashtag world beauty. And on that note, we have completed the first chapter of this game. Subscribe to the channel for more adventures with Frank the Lost Biker. Thanks for watching.